Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to teach you guys some programs that every single person who uses a computer daily must have. First program is an amazing program called Malware Bytes. So this program, if you go to the website, this program detects a lot of malware that other antiviruses won't catch, or virus scanners such as Windows Defender, McAfee. AVG this program has caught a lot from my experience of using it there is a premium version or you could just use the free download and the only difference is right here malicious we uh, website blocking real-time protection hyperscan mode which is a really fast scan but you are honestly fine with the free download version uh, it just won't give you the real-time protection you would just have to do a manual scan but on both versions and this is why I really love this program there's an anti root kit integrated into it so it will detect your computer for rootkits and I've had rootkits on people's computers that I fix that have definitely definitely not been able to be wiped from that computer but this program has done it and it works great so if I go to open malware bytes really quickly let me show you how this works so something you want to keep track of is uh, updating your malware anti malware so just go ahead and click update I'm not gonna do it right now because it's going to take a little bit, but uh, you can do the threat scan, a custom scan, which you can remove certain folders you don't want to scan in, and hyper, hyper scan. If you also go to settings and you just go to, I guess, uh, detection and protection, make sure you have scan for rootkits because that's very important. You don't want to have a rootkit on your computer. It can take full control of your computer, really mess things up, change ads to malicious ads. So just be very careful. Uh, not to leave that checked. Make sure you always leave that checked. Uh, there's no risk in scanning for a rootkit. That just helps you out. So I don't even know why that's an option, to be honest. But this isn't, like I said, an amazing program that helps find a lot of malware that other programs don't find. A second program you want to have is called CCleaner. So if we go to their website, pureform.com slash CCleaner or I'm sorry, C cleaner. It's not C C cleaner because then that would be three C's. But a lot of people make that mistake. Okay, whatever. Um, so if we go to the download the free version, uh, you're just going to go ahead and install it, and this is what you're gonna get. So here is all the options you have for C cleaner. There are all these uh, temporary internet file things you can delete. So like the history, the cookies, and what this does, it's not gonna delete any of your actual folders or files what it just deletes is temporary files so if you have for instance if you go to a website and you go to let's say we just went to piriform.com if you're never going to visit that site again then why do you need the cache for it so what I do is since it's unnecessary and I'm probably I'm never going to visit that site again let's say it's a site I never visit again it's going to delete the cache for it. it gives you more space on your computer helps your computer run smoother when you reset your computer you're going to notice it's going to take a little longer that's because it's just storing all the new cache into it but after that it's just going to reload back to normal speed so that's uh something i like about c cleaner in addition to it being free oh and i totally forgot it has a registry cleaner which is completely awesome too so if you had all these programs that you installed in the past the registry might be a little messy so what this does is just fixes like broken extent uh, broken file extensions all this stuff so it's very nice again it's free you don't have to pay so so that's C cleaner for you uh, definitely definitely recommend it now one of my all-time favorite programs is one called Spotify if you guys have already seen this program you know go ahead and skip this section but for you guys who haven't if you guys love music free music download this program it's free make an account you're gonna have to sign in you're gonna go to let me open up the Spotify application actually and show you guys a little bit about it so say you wanted to search a song I'm just gonna click wish you were here by Pink Floyd one of my favorite songs ever uh, so you can go ahead click it and it'll it'll stream so the great thing about this program is that it's free completely free to use on the desktop if you're gonna use it on a phone you gotta pay for it uh, you're not gonna get the search feature like this um, you're gonna get shuffling instead but it's only five to ten dollars and you can use it anywhere and it also caches on your phone so you never really have to be connected to the internet after it caches to your phone so it's like having music anywhere you go um, without streaming it which is great so um, 
right here you can make your playlist like I said you are not paying for this on the desktop it's free you might get an ad here or there after three songs or so but the reality is that they need to run on something they need help you know supporting this so go ahead download it on desktop like I said it's free to use you might just get an ad but that's okay uh, great program beautiful layout very nice doesn't hurt my eyes beautiful so go ahead and download this if you don't have one I use it when I study when I'm just trying to relax there's all kinds of music if we go to the radio we'll check some uh, things out like rock it, it knows what you like so I like a lot of like metal and rock so it kinda gives me suggestions uh, my girlfriend likes you know Spanish music but there's all these different genres you could just go to like if you like jazz for instance it gives you all these suggestions uh, for artists awesome program go ahead and download it if you don't already have it this next program which is one of my favorite absolute programs for speeding up a computer is called Auslogix Disk Defrag completely free and awesome beautiful interface so right here you can go to the main website just click download there and this is what the program looks like so you go ahead open it up you can check the drives you want to analyze I only want my C drive analyzed so I'm gonna go here click analyze and it'll tell me anything that lights up red means it's fragmented which is bad you want everything to be green so then what I like to do is click defrag and optimize it takes a lot longer to do it but it is totally worth it it makes your computer go much faster in general it is just an amazing program for you guys that don't know what uh, defragmenting your computer is it means it puts the more important places that you access frequently first so right here you can also see you get all these other cool features like your uh, system health which is a great one you got your giveaways they do free giveaways Auslogix is just an amazing company that I really love they make just great software in general this is much better than the Microsoft defrag much faster and has more features totally awesome just an awesome program to get this program I really enjoy for you guys who have to pay for Microsoft Office and can't afford it and you really need to print out a document you go to LibreOffice okay it's an alternative for Microsoft it is an amazing program and I know I've said that about every program here but honestly if you are looking for a money saver right now the uh, LibreOffice is perfect for saving money if you cannot afford Microsoft Office in case you guys are wondering it does the same exact thing as Microsoft Office it gives you the uh, document files you can save things as document files Excel sheets so right here as I actually pulled it up you'll see something this is writer calc impression drawing so if you correspond this to Microsoft Office this is basically Word Excel PowerPoint and it actually saves in a PowerPoint file it actually saves in an Excel file uh, or docx to be exact so you can go ahead and click writer document now if you need to type up something for school this would be perfect so if you do uh, right if you right click you could do the paragraph bullet points it's got everything also if you go to tools and go to options if you go down to where it says load and save and you just open that up go to general it can save it as a Microsoft Word file so if you have to email it uh, someone else who's got Microsoft Office will be able to open it uh, also make sure you just change this in the settings because it is by default OTD or ODF text document uh, you just want to change it to Microsoft Word and you'll be all good so that's it guys those are the five programs that I love those five programs will save you money those five programs are great for what everyone needs when they use a computer they should be using at least those five programs if uh, they absolutely need LibreOffice go ahead and use it I used it when I couldn't afford Microsoft Office but the whole point here of this video tutorial was to give you guys knowledge about what programs are good for your computer uh, what programs are, are going to help you in the long run when you need it 
For instance, if you don't have enough money to buy the Office, Microsoft Office, like I said, there is an alternative. There is almost an alternative for every program. So if I helped you guys out, please help me out and leave me a like. Subscribe to my channel, and peace out, guys.